Well, how do there, chums? Does I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, I'm in the good old PlayStation 5. My main save for No Man's Sky lives there. Now, I'm going to be jumping over into game because in today's episode, I'm going to be prepping for the update that should hopefully be happening either tomorrow, Tuesday, or maybe Wednesday of this week, if my predictions are correct. I mean, it might be the week after, but anyway, let's, let's jump on over into the old game world. And, uh, yeah, it helps if I bring up my game image on the screen, doesn't it? So here we go. Let's, uh, let's just get rid of that for a second. And boom! There we go. We're over on the old PlayStation. So the first thing I want to do is I want to upload my save data to the cloud. Make sure everything is uploaded. Thank like, yes. Just in case there is any sort of groundbreaking issues on day one, I'm just going to copy over my save file. Because we know that we're getting the expedition and the ability to rerun expeditions inside a game, but we don't know whether we're getting an update alongside it. So although that there's been quite a lot of bug testing done inside of Experimental and inside of PC, all of that testing has hinged around how we run expeditions because there's a new console that's been added inside of the old nexus so perhaps one place that i probably don't want to have a save is perhaps inside of the nexus and the community expedition is not there as yet so yeah no update as yet anyway you can see here my current save is actually saved inside the space anomaly the nexus as i call it anyway i'll see you inside of game people Okay, so I've arrived inside of the Nexus. Now, where the new console is going to be is right next to Johnny Five's sort of like little mini cabin. So where he is right there, you know, good old Synthesis companion, the new console appears in this corner just here. This is where the new console will appear after the update. And that new console will allow you to run expeditions anytime you wish from the game mode that you wish sort of thing it, it's pretty darn cool it's very really good yeah now i have said in the past i would love the ability to rerun expeditions whenever we wish and it seems to be that we got that wish hercules people now we have seen in the traders that space stations may also get an overhaul and it seems to be the space stations that are in normal areas of space so maybe it's not even safe to make your save inside of a space station so where else can we make our saves? Well, there's always our freighter bases, isn't there? However, there is a new freighter type coming into game, which is the pirate freighter. We are able to actually get ourselves a pirate freighter. So where will I place my save? Where am I going to place my legacy save where I think it would be the safest? Where it might not be touched by this update? I'm thinking at a base or even on a planet's surface where I haven't got a base, to be honest, people. And just at a trading post or something like that, because we know that trading posts aren't going to change anytime soon. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to choose one of my bases. I'm going to choose I'm going to choose one of my later bases where there's no other people's bases being built. To be honest, I'm just going to go to my Dunces on Ice planet. Okay, there's no other bases there. That, oh, they might be now actually. I go to my Captain Steve Spider. I don't think I really shared the coordinates for this one. It should only be the only base in the system. And then what I might do is find a trading post away from my base and make my save there. Okay, well I've arrived, Kated, at my base. And it's just a case of simply, you know, oh actually this is Wizard Wizard system. So yeah, I need to find a system where there's not too many bases. Uh, to be honest, this, this base is quite small, it's not very complex. I think here would actually be a safe place anyway. So yeah, I'll just make, a, make sure I've jumped in my ship, out of my ship right here. And this would be a good place to actually hit on up day one for the new update. Now, what I'm also thinking is the new expedition had a couple of things that were quite difficult to collect. Now, Hello Games says that the expedition that we got, the Omega expedition, was a version of the expedition. It's not the expedition. So there were a few things that I feel that if I could rerun the expedition, now that if you run it from that console inside of the Nexus, you can actually bring some products with you. So I'm thinking of maybe grabbing myself a few S-Class modules and a few bits and bobs to actually take in there with me. So uh, yeah, I'll probably go and grab a couple of S-Class modules at some point, people, and uh, bring those with us. So let's see if I've got anything on me. Yeah, I've got a couple. So these I could easily take with us. They, those were quite come in handy, actually. 
probably all I would need to give myself a nice little boost, a nice little lift. A couple of the products that were a little bit difficult to come across was Star Silk. Star Silk was a bit of an oddity, so what I might do is just go get myself some Star Silk, come to think of it, people. So let's go grab my ship. There we go. And I'll show you how to get some Star Silk. Now, inside of the expedition, they actually patched it so you didn't need Star Silk to build that type of chair in the end. Um, however, that might not be the case on day one inside of... Um, release so if you do want to get star silk just go to the galactic map i've got an economy filter already installed so i've just gone to an economy and you're looking for a green one like this that's got a little stopwatch exactly like that and it helps if it's either commercial or shipping but this has got the little stopwatch it's a free star this should be fine so here we go let's jump on over into here yeah there's commercial shipping mercantile Anything along those sort of lines, as long as it's green and got the stopwatch icon and it's either a two star or three star economy, it should sell star silk. I'll see you inside of the station, people. Okay, well, I've arrived, Decated. Let's just spin this around. Let's go inside of the old station. And what I might do is this system has no bases here. So what I might do is just go in, get my star silk, fly down to a random planet and land myself at, say, a trading post or something. Because at least being at a trading post, if I do want to grab anything to take on the next expedition, at least there's a galactic trade terminal there, which will be lovely and jubbly. And I can fly back up and see what's happened to this space station, which will be pretty cool. I mean, we just saw the exterior of it then. It'll be interesting to see what it looks like if we do get the space station overhauls, wouldn't it? So let's go on over to the galactic trade terminal. Let's see if this indeedy doody does sell star silk people inside the viewers. us. Diddly dee, diddly dum. Have you got the star silk that I've came for? Yes, there it is right there. So I'll just grab all of that, might as well. Done, dilly and done. Ah, cobalt. So we do need some ionized cobalt. So I'll grab the cobalt while I'm here as well. We did need a fair bit of metal plating. You can craft metal plating. We also needed five microprocessors to put in our warp drive. And we also needed a fair few um, wiring looms. So I'm just going to grab myself six of them. Unstable plasma, yes, we needed one of those as well. And we needed salt. Cool. In fact, I'll just buy the whole stack of the salt. There we go. Oh, and we also needed gold inside of that expedition. And we needed pugnium. So let's just do a little bit of selling. So, Oh, I've got a load of pugnium and I've got a load of gold, so I don't need to buy any more of that. Lovely. So there we go. There's a whole load of stuff there. Ah! Walker brains as well. If you want yourself a conflict scanner for finding the pirate sort of... Um, new freighters you're going to need at least one of those for your conflict scanner so that's cool so yeah I, I think i've got everything i need to chuck over to my actual expedition save oh, yeah give all those microprocessors i put over a load of the um cobalt yeah because we need to turn that into ionized cobalt doesn't yeah lovely got loads of stuff here that i can actually put over there now, i don't really need these i sell those bones just to free up a bit of space yeah, I've got a station override, just in case the station overrides become active in the new update. Yes, yeah, so you can get station overrides inside a game now. In fact, I've got a video where you can find station overrides. I've got exact locations of stations that have them in missions, so you can get them with ease. Hit up that video if you want to get a station override or two, just in case it becomes active, which I'd imagine it will. If we are getting the new stations, it would make sense that they add in the station overrides, wouldn't it? You'd like to think, anyway. So there you go. So that's the sort of stuff that I would suggest you pick up for your next sort of expedition. Maybe get some more warp fuel and stuff. If you can, maybe get an S-Class launch thruster module. So taking off and landing in your ship isn't going to keep using all your launch thruster fuel as much. That sort of thing. Anyway, I'm going to find a planet just to sort of call my temporary home. Uh, what's this one over here? That'll do. It's a star bumble planet. It's got aggressive sentinels, but I'm just going to lay down roots at a trading post. So this is where I'm going to leave my legacy save. Is on this little planet where there's no bases in the system. It's got a space station. I mean, what was the space station there? Can we still see the space station from here? We can't. Let's have a quick look at the space station a bit better from the outside before I go down to the planet. Because I just want to see just how much this space station changes, if at all, when the update lands. It's going to be one of the first things we check, people. Oh, now I'm being probed! Okay, right. It's a big blue space station. I'm just going to fly inside of here to duck out of cover. But we saw there the space station.
It looks pretty darn freaking gnarly, doesn't it? Okay, well, um, uh, yeah, we've got Sentinels chasing us at the moment. But yeah, it's just a random blue... Well, you've seen them a billion times. There's nothing special, is it? I wonder if it's still going to be blue and white after the update. Anyway, I'll see you down as I'm breaking the surface of that Star Bramble planet, people. Would you look at that? The actual planet is called Planet Metal. Ha! Huh. That's random, isn't it? Okay, anyway, we're nearly at the planet now, peeps. I did say I'd reconvene once we break the atmosphere, but yeah, there you go. Oh, it's actually got purple grass. Pretty cool. Right, let's get down here then. So just as I break the surface of this planet, all I'm going to do now is want to actually sort of get through the cloud layers, and there we go. Entering Planet Metal's atmosphere. That's actually a really nice looking planet. I'm just going to go over to here, pop my economy scanner, and it should give me a trading post. The reason I want a trading post is mainly because it's going to have a galactic trade terminal, and just in case I want to grab a few more bits and bobs before we go into any expedition, I can. And I've got a few little bits, a few little bits just to give me a bit of a head start in the expedition. I'm not going to pile a load of stuff in, just a few bits. Because with any expedition, you've got to worry about how much storage space you've got. So if I pile in too many resources, I'm going to be over in comp Well, I'm going to run out of storage space too quickly. So let's just land here. Lovely jubbly. And this is where I'm going to keep my save point of my game for now and I think this is a very safe location yeah I would be a little bit nervous about having a save inside of the, the um, space anomaly because of multiplayer issues there's going to be a lot of people jumping in day one and if you haven't got your settings correct or you've got network disabled and all that sort of shenanigans it could cause an issue I haven't saved at a base just in case there's something weird with bases that happens you know and I haven't saved inside of um my space freighter or anywhere else where I know that there's going to be changes like the space stations so I think this is about the safest place for me I've already uploaded my game save over to the cloud anyway and that's that's pretty much everything that's my prepping for the, the latest update I've got a load of bits and bobs to help me with the expedition I've saved in a safe place I've backed up my save to the cloud so there you go peeps that's everything that I've done yeah if you want to follow suit do so if you feel I've missed a step, let me know in the comments. Heck yes. I'm hoping that we're going to get the update on Tuesday, which is the 13th of February, which is tomorrow. But your guess is as good as mine. I just think that I was thinking the 14th, which is February the 14th, but that's Valentine's Day. And Hello Games might be thinking, ah, that might scupper people's plans if we put it out. That could cause a domestic on Valentine's Day. So anyway, let's see. Let's see what happens. Let's see if it comes out tomorrow. If not, I think it's either going to be the 14th or it's going to be next week. Originally, I did say that like the 21st or 22nd is where I thought that it would be released. That's where I thought it would be more sensible, mainly because we haven't seen the sales happen on any of the platforms. But I have got another theory as to why we're not seeing the sales. Perhaps this update is going to be slightly bigger than what we anticipate, and it's going to be a bit of a surprise that warrants full freaking ticket price. Let's see if that's another sort of theory to hold on to. Who knows? Hello Games and Sean of the Murrays did say this year was going to be a big one. Let's hope that the first year, the first update of the year is a big one. Until next time, people. Salute Mondo. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again. It's exciting times, right? Heck yes, it is.